Hey guys, what's up? This is Blender 3D Animator with his next Blender 3D tutorial. Now, today's tutorial is on making a ragdoll in Blender. Now, if you don't know what a, uh, a ragdoll is, just search um, on YouTube Ragdoll Physics and you'll get a perfect idea of what it is. So, to start off, go in your front view and duplicate your cube up on the z-axis, leaving about that much space there's no exact amount and about that much space there so now um, give your new uh, your cubes um, obvious name so instead of cube one maybe like um, torso one torso two and torso three let's just go with that so now, add a constraint, rigid body joint, um, while clicking on your torso 2. Now in here, type torso 2, which means you're adding a constraint to torso 2. Add a hinge constraint, show pivot, and pivot up 1 on the z-axis. So now you can see your pivot. So now, add a constraint to your uh, torso 3, rigid body joint, hinge, to object torso 2 and you can show the pivot pivot up one on the Z axis so um, let's just see if this works by adding a plane sizing it up dragging it down now don't drag your cubes because it it'll usually re result in um, glitches and stuff and I forgot the most important part select your cubes, you should do this before you do anything, bounds box. So it doesn't take very long, but there's rigid body, bounds box. Okay, so now press P, and just give it a second to load up the game engine, and you should see results. What the? Okay. Rotate this, and press P. Okay. This must be, yeah, this is supposed to be 1. I typed that wrong and told you guys wrong. So, uh, torso 2 is to torso 1. I apologize for that. So now, press P, and you can see it flexes kind of like a torso, but does not rotate. So now, you can just delete your default cube. And now let's make the arms. So duplicate your torso 1, drag it over on the x-axis, and leave a little bit of space between. Size this down on the z-axis to any size about that you think is right, and drag it up on the z-axis. Now give this a logical name. Arm um, left 1 or something. Let's go with that. So now... Let me um, add a plane because I think you need to fix the radius of that. So press P. Yeah, it's a little glitchy. So what you want to do is select this, decrease the radius, 0.38 is probably the correct, and test it. It's still a bit glitchy, but you're going to deal with that. So, now, what you want to do is add a constraint to a rigid body joint to object tor so one a uh, ball joint. I mean hinge, I'm sorry. So now duplicate this arm and drag it over like this and change this name to arm left 2. Now this will have a hinge constraint to torso 1. You want it to have arm left 1. So now if we add, a, let's try a cube here and we can maybe like rotate it and check out the physics of, okay I completely forgot the plane was there. So, oh, 
and take this part of the arm and positive one on the x-axis same there now press P okay that's not working for me ball press P there that's a little better I always have trouble with this my hinges never work correctly so I'm just gonna have to go with the ball joint and that works better Um, we might want to drag these out a little bit, kind of like that. A little more flexibility of the arm. Now the arm will fold down. And you just keep adjusting with this and experimenting until you get a realistic kind of effect. But this doesn't have to be perfect, so that's good enough for me. So now, duplicate these two on the x-axis to create your other arm, so like this logical name, arm right one arm right two now so like this and a ball joint two torso one and this will have a ball joint to arm right one so now you can just give this another quick test and you have to make this a negative one and that a negative one. I got so confused with this ragdoll stuff. Sorry, guys. But anyway, now you have your simple little ragdoll. And you can select these and size it down on the y-axis for more realistic arms like that. There you go. That's a little more realistic. And it just kind of stands there. So now what you can do, go to your front view, find this plane and delete that, delete the cube, duplicate your bottom cube and drag it down on the z-axis, size it on the x-axis, pretty skinny, and drag it to the left, size it up on the z-axis for the first part of the leg. Now duplicate that and drag it over to the other side. So now make this a logical name, leg left of one, leg right one and this should have a hinge to torso three with positive z uh, pivot and just torso three positive z pivot and if we would add a cube for an example press p to play he will well let's go to a side view here and those bottom ones are the legs, and you can see it fold. So now, to get a better effect, select both of them, drag them down, and it should flex quite a bit more. Now you can size those down in the X, or the Y. Whoops, press P to play. And it kind of balances there for a minute, and then proceeds to fall. So, you just adjust those, and now, what you want to do is you can delete this cube, and duplicate both of these on the z-axis, and make this leg uh, left two, and this one leg right two. This should have a hinge to leg left one, this should have a hinge joint to leg right one. So now you can add a cube, grab it on the z-axis, rotate it, press P to play, and you have your realistic ragdoll. So now all you have to do to add a head is duplicate your torso one, drag it up on the z-axis, Add a constraint of a rigid body joint, a ball joint to, or a hinge to torso one with a negative one pivot on the z-axis. So now you have your finished ragdoll. Let's test them out. Pretty good. Experiment, guys. I'll make a video of some montages, and thanks for watching this tutorial. I'll see you guys later.